Hey, what's up? Today I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna show you the two routes that I take to farm bobbleheads and magazines. Um, I found this on Reddit, and if I can find that link from last year, I'll post it in the description. But basically, um, these two routes are really rich in magazine and bobblehead spawn points. So, um, so yeah, so there's a couple things you want to keep in mind for magazines specifically if you're new to the game. So a lot of players will have magazines in their vendor, um, and I do too, but uh, they if you buy from a player, those magazines don't count towards the um, challenges that you get for atoms. Another thing is holotape games spawn at the same spot as magazines, but much more, much more rare. Um, so keep that in mind. And then, um, you know, learning these routes is great because you can do it um, without any uh, perk card assistance. So the there's two different perk cards you can use. I'm sure you probably know about them. There's Perceptibobble, which kind of gives you an audio cue for any nearby uh, bobbleheads. And also Panapicturegraphist. <laughs> Uh, that does the same thing for magazines. So these are great when you're farming um, or just out and about and you just want to pick them up or, you know, there's a lot of daily daily challenges to find bobbleheads and things like that. So that these two uh, perk cards are great for that. Um, okay, yeah. So let's get going. So this first one is in Pleasant Valley. So I usually start at the Pleasant Valley Station here. And you want to go up to the ski resort, up to the cabins, and then um, there's going to be, a, I guess, Skullbone Vantage right next to that as well. Um, so just work your way through that. And I'll kind of show you along the way. You know, there might not be magazines or bobbleheads at every spot, obviously, but I'll show you where they, they usually pop up. Okay. So let's go. Sometimes a magazine can pop up here. And I think there's sometimes a magazine on one of these tables too. I don't remember exactly. There can sometimes be a bobblehead on this little table. Downstairs here in this little room, oh. there can be a bobblehead sometimes in here. There's not one today though. Okay, and yeah, upstairs. There's sometimes a magazine over here. Or actually, sorry, on this table here. You probably told you <laughs> this route is really good for, uh, you know, you saw a cultist high priest there. Um, they spawn quite a bit on this route and on the other route as well, I'll show you. So, um, and also, oh, I want to say to the, oh, geez. Oh, there's another one. I'll come back to him. Um, you know, obviously this spawns a lot of Scorched, and so there's a lot of different challenges for Scorched as well that you can use to like kill a Scorched with a shotgun or kill a Scorched with a rifle or a pistol. So I would just do that. I would run this farming route um, as part of my daily. Uh, sometimes there can be a magazine on this pedestal here. Um, I do this route as part of my daily routine and uh, you know I've it's super easy to plow through those challenges in no time when you do this route, especially. God dang. Right. 
it's a great resource route too. So there's a, just a lot of junk and stuff that, yep, here's one. So live and love time. Perfect. Ever so often there's a magazine I think that spawns in here, but there's also some that can spawn down here. I forget exactly where, I think it'd be on this table. It's much more rare though. And this is great too, like if there's a, there's usually a glowing red rat here. So if you need, like uh, if there's a challenge that you need to kill glowing creatures or something, that's a really easy one to do. It like just adds up to it. All right, and then there's another magazine here, Tesla Science. Seven. And I used to come down here and like farm plastic a lot too, because I, when I was, um, you know, I have a gauss shotgun now, but I used to just be a regular shotgun build and, um, it just eats up so much plastic, so. Another thing too, like there's a lot of um, things to unlock, like I unlock this door, there's um, sugar here, which I use to make hard lemonade all the time, um, which is great. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of like really good stuff around. Let's see, there's usually some more sugar out here. sometimes a magazine. I feel bad killing these rad roaches. I feel like they're a little family. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> uh, there's either a, a bobblehead or I think a magazine too. It can spawn in this room, but you'll hear it if you have that, uh, the perk cards on. Um, this route is also fantastic because there's plans um, that can spawn. So there's mods and there's usually a plan sitting here too. So if you're a new player, it's great. So yeah, there's one right here. Oh, light robot torso, fantastic. I can sell that. Um, and even if you have stuff, just put it in your vendor to sell. I mean, it's, people will buy it. There's food too laying around, which is great. Oh, um, another thing too, like there's usually a power uh power armor torso that spawns here and so like there's a lot of dailies that require like uh scrapping or modding a power armor piece and so i usually come here and do that it's just easy to grab there's different chems and stuff this is another great place for plants See, here's another one pipe gunner receiver sometimes there's one down here too and even if uh you don't need all these guns they're great to scrap and um, you know scrapping them you can learn mods you can also just scrap for the resources or sell them like you can I want to know who did all the voices for the Scorch because like the noises they make are just ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. It... More sugar. There's not usually anything I think that pops up in here, but there is a magazine spawn out here. there's a magazine that can spawn out here so yeah so this is the first one that's pretty much the end of that run so now we're gonna go to um, Somersville, Somersville docks and then from Somersville docks we're gonna head to the kill box up to Torrance house Hornwright Summer Villa and then down to Overlook Cabin So far, I've been found any bobbleheads, which is kind of surprising. Okay, 
Sometimes there can be a bobblehead up here. Where's the priest? Alright. And sometimes there can be a bobblehead on this little shelf, this stand here next to this towel. I, don't, I think I already have all the plans, so, I mean, they just give you, like, chems and stuff, which is, I mean, it's fine, but... Resources and stuff. Okay. Uh, there can be a bobblehead here sometimes. It's a little frustrating there isn't one there. There can sometimes be a magazine sitting right next to this explosives crate. Here's something, where is it? It's up there. Oh yeah, there's one at the end of this dock. Here we go. Guns of bullet seven. Okay, then I come across here. I usually check on this this boat. I don't think I've ever seen anything here, but over here, what's this lady doing? Oh, oh that's sad. I'm really gonna miss my Lucy. Stupid mole rat. Mm. It's a dog. I think that's the first encounter I've ever seen with that. Um, whoop. There can sometimes be a bobblehead right here on this boat, too. Alright, now time for the freaking cultists. Oh, not the cultists. The uh, blood eagles. Ooh, there's a bobblehead right there. Yeah. I hear another one. It's upstairs. I hear you, I'm coming. Uh, there's usually nothing, I think, in these two rooms. But this is nice. Like, it's good if you're low level. Um, because there's a workbench here, you can scrap a bunch of stuff and if you need to, save space. Oh yeah, another bobblehead. Perfect. And in this room too, there's usually some... Um, there's usually a military ammo bag and like some other military type stuff. For uh... I don't know why it's not here, it's usually always here. For um... Ballistic fiber. Nuka-Cola right there too, that I usually grab. Oh. Hey. Oh, that was nice. Did 
down here. I don't think I've ever seen anything spawn down here, but um, there, there's a bunch of resources and stuff here that you can grab too while you're down here. And there's another um, power armor spawn as well for your daily challenges and things. Or if you just want some power armor. <laughs> So this is also good. So what, after you're done with the Blood Eagle section, uh, and you're up into, I think this is Torrance House. Yeah, Torrance House. There's robots, and so like this is great uh, to get some of the robot kills out of the way that you need to for that those beginning search. really long. Seven. Perfect. Okay, let me just go upstairs. Nothing usually in this room. But you come outside over here. Um, there can sometimes be a magazine behind this toolbox. Not today. There can also sometimes be a magazine on top of this roof right here. It's really hard to miss. Over here, uh, there's a bobblehead spawn right here, so keep an eye out for that. And I think it can spawn up here as well. There's usually a bobblehead here, um, but not today, unfortunately. But I usually come out and check right there. Usually, usually always something in this greenhouse here, so keep an eye out for that. Up top here is a bobblehead spawn on top of this little gazebo. Down in the basement here is a magazine spawn. So it's a little easier in first person. There's a magazine that spawns right here. Uh, this is also good too because there's um, workbenches down here that you can use if you're kind of a low level player too and you need to scrap stuff or whatever you need. There's usually a magazine that spawns right here. Jesus. Ah, no. Where'd it go? Oh, this happened one time before, too. It, like, now it's in the wall. Crap. Ah. Let me see if I can get it out. it's back there. <laughs> I hope it wasn't one of the ones I needed. 
Um, this is also good for those um, those days that they have the daily challenges to collect a hollow tape. There's hollow tape right there. No sugar bombs. Let me see if it kind of came out on the outside. Sometimes it can fly out the window. There's usually a bobblehead here, out here somewhere. I can hear it. Where is it? That's right there. For some reason, it's like out on this thing, this little ledge. I don't know why. And then um, sometimes there can be magazine spawns down in this basement. I think on this table here as well. Yeah. Plants and stuff. So yeah, um, you know, that uh, didn't take too long, um, maybe what, like 20 minutes or so to do both. And um, it's great for collecting bobbleheads, resources, you know, the the event spawns for like, you know, the, the legendary cult, cultist priests and the... Um, the uh, treasure hunters as well it's great for that um and so yeah like i've you know i've added this to kind of my daily routine and you know i only have two magazines out of all of them to collect and so um yeah it's, it's helped me out like a ton um so like i said yeah I'm, I'm gonna try to link that the original reddit post that i saw this on in the description and uh i hope you found this really helpful and you start adding it to your your daily routine as well because uh, I think it's it's great and you know free atoms I mean why not so all right cool well if you have any questions uh, feel free to toss them in the comments and I will respond when I can so thanks for watching really appreciate it and I will talk to you later